we're about 10 minutes out on approach for McCarran International. We're going to be passing Lake Las Vegas and Lake Mead, where there's still a little water left. But receding, receding immensely. Just put on the speed brakes. We're slowing down to under 250 knots because we're almost 10,000 feet. Rule is 250 knots and under, under 10,000 feet. Engines are at half throttle. And that is the captain's signal to the flight attendants to do their cross checks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we make our final descent into Las Vegas, it's time to turn off and stow all large portable electronic devices. Raise your seat backs and tray table to their full upright lock position, and make sure all carrying items are stowed back under the seat in front of you or in an overhead bin. We're coming by one last time to pick up any cup scans, newspapers, or any of the trash that you may have. Southwest Recycle, so if you have any plastic bottles, magazines, or newspapers, please keep those separate and we'll be happy to recycle those for you. Folks, we thank you for choosing Southwest Airlines today. Welcome to Las Vegas. Lost wages. Thank you. We will get a good look and see how much the Lake Mead has receded shortly. From what I've researched, they keep finding more and more cars and bodies <laughs> over the last couple of years. It's pretty interesting. some red rock down there. Hopefully I'll be taking my mother out to Red Rock Canyon. Some more red rock right here. I'm trying to look ahead to see where we're at, but I can't really tell. But we are slowing down. Coming out towards Boulder City, make our way around to Sunrise Mountain and our approach down Sunset for 26 left, ILS 26 left approach. As you can see, the engine is spooling down. You can see the bullseye. Looks a lot slower rotation than it was when we were in cruise. And we're going to be doing our flaps to slow down very shortly. And it's going to get a little bumpy.
Alrighty, we're dropping now. Speed brakes are on, as you can hear them. Just gotta get this baby down to at least, I'm gonna say 200 knots. And by the time we come over the ridge of Sunrise Mountain, we'll be at about 189 mile knots. Assuming our landing speed will be 142, 142 knots for the ILS 26 left. Funny thing, when I booked this flight, I thought this was going to be a regular 737-800, but I'm actually flying the Max 8. It has upgraded avionics larger screens overall a much better aircraft than the 737-800 and here comes the turbulence I believe I see Boulder City I'm going to try to get over there oh yeah there's Sunrise Mountain right there we're coming, we're coming up to Sunrise Mountain. Sunrise Mountain, uh, the legend is that Sunrise Mountain is a Native American lying on his back. If you look to the left, that would be the head and the hair. You can see his feet, his chest. We are going to cross Sunrise Mountain at about 3,800 feet, and we're going to dip down Sunset Road for the 2-6 left approach. I'm going to need more gum. Looks like we're at flaps 15 right now. As you can see, the slats are out. By the time we get over here, this ridge of Sunrise Mountain, which should be flaps 20. Slowing our speed down to an approach speed of about 167 knots. Landing speed 142. There's Sunrise Mountain. Here's a good look at the Native American lying on his back. As I said, towards the left would be the head. There's the chest. The legs going further to the right. Welcome to Henderson. Look at Sunrise Mountain. Uh, if you look all the way north, you'll see Nellis Air Force Base. I used to live up there. And there's also the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We are over the 3,800 foot ridge. We are at flaps 20, flaps 25. More than likely he's gonna do about a flaps 30 landing. And we're probably at about 167 knots. We pass over my mother and sister's house shortly. As we go down Sunset Boulevard. This would be Old Henderson. going to get a little bumpy. As you can hear, speed brakes are on. He's getting to his final approach speed, which should be around 142 knots. Flaps 30. There's Boulder Highway. 
and Boulder Highway goes from Boulder City all the way to Fremont Street, which is right there. Should be passing by my mother's house soon. Oh, I was wrong. We're going down 19 right. Well, this is a much better view. So we're doing the RNAV 19 right approach and we're gonna pass by the MGM Sphere. Huh, I didn't know this was an RNAV. RNAV approach is not a, what we call a ILS approach where you have a easier time landing precision. The pilot is doing a lot of this work manually Thus, the turbulence. There you go, the sphere. There's the Hard Rock, Hard Rock Casino. And here we go. Welcome to McCarran International. RNAV 19 left. Main gears down, speed brakes are on, reverse thrust. Our gate should be over to the left. I forgot that Southwest would take 19 left because they need to go straight to the gate instead of taking what I thought would be 26 left, which would be a longer taxi. There's a Southwest Airlines holding short. Welcome to Lost Wages. Wow, look at all those Southwest Airlines. Look at that line. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 13 planes lined up for eight right. There's 15 planes lined up for eight right. Wow. The last time I've been in the line that long was uh, O'Hara International in the dead of winter. That's actually 18 planes in a row. Wow. Wow, look at all those planes. That's that's insane. One thing that's kind of neat is my sister is a massage therapist here at the airport. So hopefully I can get a free massage. Welcome to Las Vegas. Please remain seated exactly orange. We'll come to the gate and the captain's turn up the fasten seatbelt sign. Once you're done, be cautious when opening overhead bins. I just do shift to be done with the falling out. If you do have a cell phone within reach, please use it to call your loved ones if they know that you have arrived safely. Please pass the doors will be up for ground servicing for your safety and anyone you are supervising during the making of those doors. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are connected to another South Coast Airlines flight, double check the TV monitors for the most up-to-date and gate times. It's been a pleasure serving you today. Have a great weekend. For those of you waiting on wheelchairs, please remain seated. Let me make sure they are on the jet bridge. Once I see them, I will let you know. Thank you so much for joining us today. Lovely having you and a warm welcome to Las Vegas. The dry heat. Also, please, once we get to the gate, can you please lower the shades and open the vents to keep the bank cool? Oh, the yeah. Coming on, on the next flight. Thank that's, you. That's for sure. I guess one final story. The last time I flew out of Las Vegas when I flew Allegiant, I was on the tarmac and it was 115 and the auxiliary power unit wasn't on so we had no AC. I nearly passed out. So we were just instructed to close our window shades so that when they do turn the auxiliary power unit off that the airplane will not be too stifling. Look at all of those planes lined up for takeoff. Wow.
that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 planes lined up for takeoff on runway 8 right. Here's a couple bananas, spirit bananas. I see an Alaskan airline with the old livery. There's the Alaskan airline with an old livery. going to Terminal 2, which is the Southwest Airlines Terminal. And we're now being marshaled in to our gate. thing about working Ladies at McCarran. The flight deck. Not quite all the way into the gate just yet. If you would, please keep your seats with your seatbelt securely fastened. We'll get you moving here momentarily. They're just moving some equipment out of our way and we'll get you to the gate here shortly. Thanks for your patience. Welcome again to Las Vegas. The thing about uh, these ground workers at McCarran, they have a high threshold for heat. The tarmac is scorching. I see a marshal there. There's a marshal right there. <laughs> and here we go. There's one of our marshalers there. Our gate. Jetway jet bridge is connected. See you soon.